The penultimate stage of the 2019 APSA Cape Epic started and finished in Stellenbosch. This incredible event traverses the Western Cape of South Africa, enjoying some of the most picturesque locations the country has to offer. The international field of pros and amateurs complete an identical course as teams of two in this eight-day racing adventure. None of the stages on the APSA Cape Epic are easy, but stage six is traditionally the most fun. As the riders loop around Stellenbosch, they had some of the best single track in the world to look forward to. The shark's teeth profile alluded to very little let up over the 89 kilometers with 2,650 meters of climbing. The elite men's start line was packed with past and present Olympic and world champions. In third overall, the Italian team of Trek Sellers and Marco. In second, Canadel Factory Racing, Enrique Avancini and Manuel Fumi. And the leaders' yellow jerseys, Scott Sram's European champion Lars Foster and Olympic champion Nino Schurter. The riders headed out into the spectacular Stellenbosch Mountains and the tension was high. Canada lost the leader's jerseys to Scott on stage 5 and were keen to make a dent in their 5 minute and 13 second lead. In the women's category, world marathon champion Annika Langvall and world road race champion Anna van der Breggen were in the orange leader's jerseys with a commanding lead over Team Summitfin of 21 minutes. However, this is the APSA Cape Epic and anything can happen. The day's challenges began early. The first climb, known as Heartbreak Hill on Botmas Corp, stage six is one of the last chances for the pro teams to perform and many were hunting podium places. However, with almost 20 hours of intense racing in their legs, the cracks were starting to appear. As they hit the mazy skyfall descent, the leading teams were within 30 seconds of each other. Team Cross Spur set the pace and created a small gap. Overall race leader Scott Sram Racing were showing little urgency in the group. They were playing a waiting game and seeing which of the lower ranked teams were keen to attack. The flowing single track of Skyfall increased the gap between the leading teams to three minutes by the time they descended the section. Cross Spur were leading followed by 7C CBZ Villa, Scott Sram and DSV Scott as well as Trek Seller San Marco. 35 kilometers into the race, Trek Seller San Marco, Porro and Damiani took the initiative on the never ender climb and started to put some time into the rest of the field. They were in third overall with a gap of almost nine minutes to the Cannondale team in second. Manuel Fubik, the German national cross-country champion, had a tough stage five and appeared to be suffering again. Trek gained a two-minute lead, but disaster struck for the Italians. Samueli Poro crashed and damaged his back wheel. He was up quickly and back on the bike, but the tyre wouldn't hold pressure. He rode on the rim until the pair decided to stop and repair it. 7C CBZ Villiers charged past the Italian team along with Scott Schurter and Foster. With added motivation, Louis Mayer and Johnny Catania powered ahead and moved into the lead. They were 10th overall, so with no threat to Schurter and Foster. The Colombian-Italian combination maintained their lead to the finish and crossed the line at Klutzenberg for their first win at the APSA Cape Epic. Just over two minutes later, Schurter and Foster arrived and a disappointed Trek Celis and Marco took third. Cannondale Factory have had another tough day and crossed the line in fourth place, losing almost three minutes on the GC. In the women's race, an early attack saw to it that Investec Songo Specialized it dominated the stage. At every split, they put more time into the chasing teams. Annika Langfell and Anna van der Breggen seem to be unstoppable. Not only are they winning the category, but they are comfortably inside the top 50 overall. Team Summitfin of Candice Lill and Adelaide Morath are the only team who have beaten them this week, winning stage 5. Cross Spur Racing had a good start to the Absa Cape Epic, but have been struggling for the past two days. Ariane Luti, a three-time winner of the Absa Cape Epic and Olympic silver medalist at Maya Ostrovska, seemed to be back on form on stage six. Investec Songo Specialized crossed the finish line to take the win in Stellenbosch. Second place went to Summit Finns Candice Lidl and Adelaide Morath, and third to the Cross Spur pair. Langfell and Van der Breggen will again be wearing the orange leaders' jerseys for the grand finale. The men's race saw Trek Salas and Marco with their third podium of the event, second to the overall leader Scott Sram MTB Racing and the win to the 7C CBZ Villiers combination. The yellow jerseys will stay with Nino Schurter and Lars Forster going into the final stage.